Could the gateway be the key to exploring the solar system? Out of all inner planets, Earth has the strongest gravity. This is vital for human life, but also poses a challenge to space travel. The stronger the gravity of a planet or moon, the more you weigh and the more fuel and time it will take to leave the atmosphere. This is where the Gateway will bring the greatest enhancement to the rocket's efficiency. The Gateway is a proposed lunar station that will orbit the Moon. This station will be used to get to and from the Moon to Earth. The distance from the Moon will change drastically over seven days by coming as close to the surface of the Moon as 1500 kilometers to as far as 70,000 kilometers. This strange orbit has many advantages but the most important is that communication with the Earth will never be obstructed. The base will carry fuel and supplies needed for long-term space travel. The Starship will be one of the main users of the Lunar Gateway. It will use it to get to the Moon and also a refueling and resupplying point to get to Mars and the outer regions of the Solar System. Orbiting this high would mean that the station would experience little to no gravity. A rocket launching from this station would be able to reach speeds and fuel efficiency unreachable by Earth launches. All missions to the Moon's surface will pass through the Lunar Gateway using the Starship sister craft, the Human Landing System. The construction of the station will take many years. We would hope this will all be done with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and NASA's SLS. With the SLS being non-reusable, we would hope that the Falcon Heavy will be primarily used due to it being reusable, but this is not right. The only launch to use the Falcon Heavy rocket booster will be the first one in 2024. This will be the main elements of the station, the power, propulsion, and life support systems. There are six other launches proposed to be done using the SLS. This will bring the crew and other more specialized components. There are many mixed opinions by space officials on the Lunar Gateway. Michael Griffin, a former NASA administrator, stated that the station would only be useful if there were at least three fuel facilities on the moon to bring fuel to the Gateway. NASA believes that even if some of the proposed uses like the refueling station do not work, the station will still be critical for long-term space travel and lunar missions. All crew will stay in the habitation and logistics outpost section of the station. This element of the station will be the only part pressurized and will be the control center of the station. All controls, storage, and resupply airlocks will be in this sector. All power distribution will be controlled here and many other station systems and life support systems. Orion has also just launched. This will be a massive part of the Lunar Gateway program. This Orion launch went directly to the moon. All Orion's missions launched during the Gateway's life will dock at the station, supply or swap crew, and make their way to the moon. Alternatively, the Orion spacecraft will dock at the Gateway drop off the crew and leave for Earth. The crew will use the human landing system which then take the crew the rest of the way to the moon. We will use this station for so many reasons and it will allow us to go anywhere we want. I hope you learned something about the Gateway. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for letting me power the future.